tell me what's the most thing you remember about Kobe during that that uh, Western Finals. This he it just he was a dog and he was relentless and his mental approach to the game. Like we played that year and he just he knew my minute structure, so he had watched film enough to know that George Carl he played me the first six minutes of the first and the first six minutes of the third and it could get tricky for me. I'm not gonna play no fourth quarters because George wouldn't play. Um, a Duke guy in the fourth quarter, he told me that to my face. Like, <laughs> you with the Duke, I'm with the UNC, I don't really mess with y'all, but you're my favorite, but you're not gonna play no fourths for me. So he knew my minute structure to the point where he would just facilitate. He wouldn't deal with no physicality. Mm-hmm. He wasn't gonna wrestle with me or get, get no, get no, no, didn't talk, didn't talk, no, didn't talk, no trash, didn't say nothing crazy. He would just facilitate. Was you talk, was you talking to him? No, because. Okay. <laughs> you wasn't, you wasn't even trying to. No, that, he was it for me. Like yeah. MJ, Cole, Ray Allen, as I said, <laughs> AI. Like those, those are my four. I'm playing hard as I can because that's how you show your respect to the people that you admire. Like you don't, I'm never going to back down. So right. I, I wanted him, I wanted to get his approval as like, as a competitor. Right. So. No, he we we never he never said anything ill to me. He never like we never talked crazy to each other. Um, both he was physical. He competed. When he when when I went out the game, then he would go at Jr. and Anthony Carter. And then when I came back, he would pick his moments and stuff. But he would never like fully attack mm-hmm. because he knew like that's what I was only there for. Mm-hmm. What was the? Because I remember those battles and those games were fun. Growing up a Lakers fan, but I want to know what the scouting report like. How did you prepare for Kobe? Like, was there a scouting report or was it just, hey, go out there and try your best? Um, there was a scouting report. About the same. What was it? Yeah, like, what, what was like, his what, weaknesses? Yeah, what, 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 what were you Kobe. trying to make? How well, were you trying to win that battle? Every player has a rhythm, right? And mm-hmm. they have go-tos. And as you said, he has like, he has favorite moves and he has counters. So to be physical with him, to not let him get to his spot, to, um, to try and get into his handle a little bit, to make him rush. Um, just to make everything hard. Mm-hmm. And then like most of the stuff you may see from me and why the Lakers fans hate me to this day is that you just had to just wear him down because he's gonna take a lot of shots, he's gonna be used a lot. So we had we had different rules than we have now. So like we had bounties on him and he could not get a layup because my teammates would cuss me out. Yeah. George, Kenyon, uh, Big Shot, if he got a layup without me fouling him, knowing that I'm only gonna pay 18 minutes or not, like. I'm going to fully get cussed out. Yeah. So that's why you see me like be ultra aggressive. He beat me one time and I, I pushed him and he back. But that in my mind, it wasn't to hurt him. It was. You knew the repercussions, but. No, 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 no. So I didn't get benched. No, 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 no. Not, not to get benched, but like the only other option was is to go over, over, go for the ball and really hurt him and like take him out the air or just to catch him before he gets off the floor. Mm-hmm. Right. So I just like kind of like, he, he, he's about to take off, pushed him and he goes out of bounds. Mm-hmm. And it's like, Yo, why you, why, what, what you doing? But he don't know that I have to mm-hmm. or I'll get fined. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like if you get a layup, I lose money. Mm-hmm. I get cussed out. They got, they got pictures of me and Chauncey and, and, and Kenyon and uh, Melo arguing because I wasn't physical enough. Mm-hmm. They like, they had me like on the leash and they were just, yeah, like, yeah. just, just, <laughs> just messing Kill up. Tank. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, people look at me like, I'm crazy now. Six fouls. I mean, yeah, it makes sense like, now that I think about it. Most of our altercations are in a Denver Nuggets uniform mm-hmm. because that was my role. It worked for everybody. Ken- Kenyon, that was Ken- that was Kenyon's role. He was like, he was the bully. Mm-hmm. He controlled everything. Even he had to guard Dirk. Like he was, he had to get physical and that was our level of basketball. We're going to be physical. You, you, we're gonna wear people now because Big Shot was coming from Detroit mm-hmm. and I was there. So he gave us an identity. We got our scores, we got our main guy, we got our general, but we're gonna be physical, we're gonna wear you down, we're gonna fly around, we're gonna have fun, and, and we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk crazy, and that, that's just like that's just what we do. Mm-hmm. So even in that, like um, and it, it worked. Like for that year, it worked. We had we had an identity and people were scared to play us. Mm-hmm. So Cole come like was dirty. Cole, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> it's a fine line. Like we were physical. Different game. It's it's a di- it's 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 a different level of physicality that was allowed. And if we gonna foul you, we are gonna make sure you, you feel it. Like <laughs> like you you, you got to go to the ground. And yeah, they I, I, we not, not like gonna kick you. Like right. but like if I'm a foul, you, it's not gonna be a, a hand foul. Like yeah. you are gonna feel it. You are gonna get your free throws. And I'm gonna say I did it. I'm not gonna act like I didn't. Yeah. But, but the intent is for you to be yeah. like, like I don't over time. Do this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Over time, like, like nah. I had enough. Like, right, I'm gonna stop going to the paint. I'm settle for a couple jumpers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we make you settle, yeah. and then like because the paint was somewhere we did, didn't want you to come. Mm-hmm. You got into the paint. You got to know that you're gonna get foul hard. Or we like we coming. I got Nene behind me. I got Kenyon behind me. Like they trying to block shots, and then we gonna be physical. Our traps physical. 
a ball pressure, physical. We just wanted to be physical at, at any any point in time we could, and we wore teams down like that. So, like the stuff with Cole, was physical on his post. Yeah, into in him in the ball. He get in the paint. Like if I can't make a play, and it was like four or five times where I couldn't really make a play. Like I have to make sure he does not get a shot up. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's where you see some of the stuff come mm -hmm. out. It, like I, I loved him more as much as you do yeah. or any, any other. Like that was like, he was but the epitome right, of right. basketball. I know Kobe is so good at like masking, right? Whether y'all was getting to him or not, I know he's so good at like, you know, the just warrior mentality. Mm -hmm. Like at any point, was y'all like, yeah, we we got him. We getting him. We getting to <laughs> no. him. No. <laughs> there was no <laughs> point in time that we got him in the yeah. control. No, by no means. Okay. And, me and him had like the same agent. So like I had worked out with Kobe in the summertime. Like most people don't know that. Like I've been in uh, Santa Monica, uh, St. Monica's one-on-one -on -one him, um, Corey Maggetti. Like, so I, I know Kobe and I've been competing against Kobe by this time. Mm -hmm. And I know he's not gonna give up. Mm -hmm. Like he could have a game where he go 0 for 32. He's coming. Mm -hmm. he's, he's gonna keep shooting. He's gonna keep being aggressive. He's gonna keep controlling the game like an like, elephant. Yeah, like he's, you can't memory. really shake him. So never, we never thought that we had him rattled by no means. Mm -hmm. We just knew we we had those games to the point we had games one. We made mistakes at the end of the game, mm -hmm. like side out of bounds plays. They get a steal and they win. So we just want to control the game and be the, and be the more physical team. Look, the NBA season is in full swing and Prize Picks has you covered when it comes to helping you make some money. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Prize Picks is really simple to play, y'all. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. So be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash podcast P and use our promo code podcast P for a first deposit match up to $100. And Jackie, what do we always say? I think it's a uh... cha-ching! Cha